as Thomas filled up with water. He felt very happy. Suddenly there was a whoosh and a whoosh and a clackety-clack as a streak of silver roared by on the track. Fizzling fireboxes, what was that? All over Sodor, Thomas's friends were buffeted and blasted on their track. Bubbling boilers! Bust my buffers! Watch my paintwork! Trembling traps! Who was that? Gosh! Slow down, Speedy! Rail Raider! Later, Thomas and his friends were at Knapford. They were very puzzled. He was big. He was silver. He was very, very fast. That must mean it's... Spencer. Spencer. Hello, Sodor. What do you know? I'm here for the summer. Why? I have a very important job to do. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are having a new summer house built. It has to be finished in time for the Duke and Duchess's holiday. I'm very busy, no time to chat. And Spencer steamed smugly away. Cinders and ashes. Having Speedy Spencer on soda for one day is bad. But for the whole summer is terrible. That afternoon, Thomas and Percy were huffing and puffing up Gordon's hill. Hero? What do you think about when you're alone? My home. Since I have been talking to you and your friends about it, I miss it more than ever. Thomas understood how hard it must be for Hero to be away from home. He wanted to cheer him up. Tomorrow, Percy is going to puff across the island to get the last part we need for you. Then you'll be ready. You won't have to be alone anymore. Thank you, Thomas. You understand me well. That night, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for Thomas at Tidmouth Sheds. He was cross. Thomas, the mail cars are still missing. Spencer is at the Sodor Steamworks. The building materials for the summer house are stacked up at the docks, and you're not working on your branch line. What is going on? I'm sorry, sir. Tomorrow I will make sure everything is put right. Tomorrow then, Thomas. Don't worry, Thomas. Tomorrow, Percy will get the last part Hero needs. We'll all take it in turns to guard Hero. Tomorrow, it will all be all right. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. 